Emily Bremer again from the Administrative Conference. Um, during my research, I, um, I, I came across, of course, NFPA's practice, and I also did hear some um, comments and, and complaints from, from folks about the way that the material was made available on, on NFPA's site. My understanding is that at least initially they used a sort of special program that I think is called Real Read. Is that right? Yeah, that, that was um, extremely restrictive um, and a little difficult to use. Um, I mean, it, it, was, it was an effort to prevent large-scale copying that would undermine the value of the copyright. Um, but my understanding is that at least for some users, it made it very difficult to actually use the standard. So the, you know, whether or not that had an impact on their business model may have, had, it may have been in part a result of the particular way they were doing it that, that impeded the usability of the standard for people who needed a copy of it. Um, and related to that, um, the, the kind of standards that NFPA largely produces are you know, the electrical codes, biz, uh, building codes, that kind of stuff. If you're an electrician, you're out in the field, you need a hard copy. I mean, like you, have a, you have a real reason to go out and buy that book. Um, and so there are real reasons why the people who usually purchase those products might not be deterred from purchasing them because the, the materials are made available online. Whether that's true for all other standards or for a particular standard or for a particular standard developer is going to depend on a whole lot of circumstances that are very specific to the standard. Who uses it? What the nature of the standard is? Is it four pages and you can just you know, easily violate the copyright by taking screenshots and printing out the four pages? Or do you really need to you know, buy a 30 volume <laughs> set of the boiler code in order to have a copy of it? Um, so my, my point is just that it's difficult to extrapolate from the experience of any one standard developer. It's instructive in trying to figure out how it will, ha how it will work for other standard developers, but there are always going to be a lot of nuances and special circumstances that you have to take into account in order to assess uh, whether what works for one standard or one for one standard developer will work for another.